two, three. I was already okay. back. I'm gonna leave that in too. Oh, okay. okay actually, that. <laughs> If, from the first chat session, that was the number one comment was one, two, three. Ah, ha, ha, la, 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 la. How you, how you oh. started out our chat with like a, a three, two, one countdown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's, I, I wonder about that because I think a lot of people just seriously would listen to like the first five seconds of the video and then comment on it. Which, <laughs> hey, at least they commented on what was being talked about and then just didn't put like Bob was here. Lol. EAF. Or, 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 or the constant like, I love Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> Nate, you rock. <laughs> it wasn't bad as you got later on the earlier ones, but yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, guy Richie. Uh, I have no idea what he's done. Apparently, he's doing a Lobo. Yeah, he is a hundred percent. I don't know. They just signed him up for Lobo, and for those of you guys who don't know, they're they're planning on making Lobo PG thirteen, so more people can see it. I'm 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 just gonna go out on a limb and uh, Ron Perlman for Lobo. Uh, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb. If it's PG-13, I think I'm gonna have a hard time watching that movie. Ron I'm Perlman, still, I'm, fucking I'm awesome. still gonna say Ron Perlman for Lobo. Ron Perlman's awesome. Yeah, well, it's funny because I would also cast him as Deadshot. Yeah. I was, just, I was just talking to him. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Ron Perlman for Deadshot. He's like, that's a fucking amazing idea. Which Ron is Pro- funny because anytime I ever say Ron Perlman, people are like that's a great idea, no matter who the character is. <laughs> he's just, he's just, he's just fun. He's awesome. He's my new favorite super Jew. <laughs> He's a Jew. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pensive one, one of my uh, subscribers and one of the people I follow on Twitter, posted a link that had a bunch of Jewish people, and he was one of them. I was like, "Holy cow!" I felt special. Awesome. All right. Uh, next, we have Lexi Alexander. Yeah, who did Punisher Warzone? Um, no, uh, oh. not, not that I didn't like Punisher Warzone because I did, but that was really just. I mean, it was kind of stylized, but it was really just how much gore can we get on the screen? Oh, okay. And. That's not Deadpool. Like, like Deadpool can can be violent, but not to that extent. And I didn't. I I, I, I don't know. Did Did you read Suicide Kings? As he's sitting there with a bloody n- nub, about to to put it into Tombstone's eyeball. Okay. Well, we know it's not going to be. <laughs> I, I don't uh, know. I I I'm actually, actually uh, an R-rated Deadpool would be amazing because he does swear a lot in the comics. Yes, and and I plan on doing almost a full video rant on why Deadpool needs to be rated R, PG thirteen. It, it, it totally should and not be PG thirteen. You know, Sorry, go ahead. I, I said, you know, it should be, but it probably won't be. Yeah, it probably won't be. And so I'd be okay with Lexi Alexander then. I haven't seen Warzone yet, but... You should. It, it, it's just killing for like an hour and a half. I'm not even joking. Oh, nice. I, I, I do have many bl- uh, jokes planned with it in the future. Including you. You have a few jokes planned with it. Which, yeah, For those of you guys who don't know, this is the guy who did the uh, the voice for our... Uh, uh, he wrote and did the voice for uh, Multiple Man in that first Deadpool quickie. Yeah, well, well, and, and, and if they didn't know it, what's what's wrong with you? I I, I just talked for that video. Yeah. <laughs> it was my exact same voice. Yeah. Man, everyone really liked that one. That one came out really nice. That was, really... was so weird because I was like, this is so bad. I should never write anything ever. And then people were like, this is funny. I enjoyed it, man. I had a fun time doing it. And animating it was pretty cool. Well, I, I, I did write a second one, so maybe that might one day ever get done. Yeah, I, I plan on it, at, hopefully. I don't know, it, unless I have to go and get, like, a real job and stop working nights, but... Yeah, I, I wrote it as kind of giant and large, and I don't even know if it could be a video. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it would definitely have to be a longy. Yeah, it'd be a, it's a, it's like a Deadpool epic. Yeah. <laughs> Although it, it, he's, like, it, hardly in it. I, I, people might get pissed off at that. Wait, wait so what? I, I say he's, like, hardly in it. People might get pissed off at that. He's, like, oh, Deadpool. Lines. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Oh, uh, if you think about it, Deadpool's really not in it that much. Time for rewrites. Yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I get it over. Oh, uh, cable. I, I loved writing cable in that beginning sequence. Oh sorry. man, he was late. We're getting everyone pumped up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, sorry, no one knows what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, either way, uh, David Finch is yeah, next. I looked that up. He's written like two Canadian films I've never seen. Oh, we don't need a Canadian. We already have one in there. <laughs> uh, Brian Singer, X Men One and Two. I don't think he has a sense of humor for it. No, they, okay. I like like I've seen his other stuff like you know he did Superman Returns he did uh, what what the hell was that movie that was amazing that he did uh, the the Usual Suspects uh, oh. he, he he wrote and directed that and I'm, I'm and like it's not the right kind of humor he I don't know I'll I'll take your word on that one uh, oh, yeah. Stephen- oh, yeah, see, yeah. Suspects oh it's amazing <laughs> all right I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, like every time you say you haven't seen something I'm just gonna tell you how amazing it is <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, Stephen Summers, Mummy 1 and 2. Uh, he also directed, uh, G.I. Joe. Oh, okay, cool. I wouldn't be against him. Neither would I, especially after seeing G.I. Joe. 
Uh, yeah. as long as uh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Fucking mess. As long as someone can slap him and go, okay, how no, you film just... Snake Eyes is not how you film Deadpool. Show him fight. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think maybe if uh, it, it was R, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be fun. I hear people. He's never done an R movie. He did the Mummies. He did Ben Helsing, and he did. Oh, he did Van Helsing? Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I hear people knock him. I'm like, I enjoy his movies. And I enjoy, uh, what's his name, who's also in all of his movies? Who they'll have to, again, find out. Oh, 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 Brendan Fraser? Yeah, oh, Brendan Fraser. Oh, yeah, me too. I really I enjoy Brendan Fraser. Yeah, it, I have no idea who'd play in Deadpool then. He'd be another one of those directors like, oh, my friend's got to be in it. He, uh, uh, um, I don't even know if he'd be in the movie, and he probably wouldn't because, like, nobody ever talks about him. Hmm. But if they did T-Ray, I would cast him as, a, as T-Ray. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if he can pull off playing a bad guy, though. I, 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 I don't know. He seems, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I, I Probably. just assume everyone can play a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next we have Troy Duffy. Uh, did uh, Boondock Saints? I, I, I haven't seen the Boondock Saints. I'm sorry. I, I would, ex- I would expect you have seen it like a million times. Boondock- no, everybody tells me you must see this film. Uh, I've, I've never seen it. Uh, it, it, it'd be another one of those point and click uh, gun shooting guys here. You're like, no, no, we need soy fighting. Uh, okay. John Landis, I think I should know who that is. Why? As as do I. That sounds really, really familiar. All right, quickly to IMDb and Wikipedia. Yeah, I'm already typing. <laughs> We're racing it. Yeah, he, he can't do IMDb because it crashes his computer. Yeah, yeah, something weird. I don't know. And I can't do Wikipedia because I don't know. I'll make up an excuse here in a minute. All right, let's see. What's what's he directed? I have it up. Arrivals. Uh, right. Beverly Hills Cop Three. Oh, okay. The one in the amusement park. Blues Brothers Two Thousand. Oh wow! Yeah, we want this dude on. Michael this. Jackson's number ones. Oh, fucking. Yeah. What? <laughs> I, I was gonna go off there. I was like, I really shouldn't go off on Michael Jackson right now. Because <laughs> I guess I have a lot of fans who really like him. Oh well, he did Animal House. Okay, it looks like he's done a lot of like comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, I. <laughs> I I'm gonna say pass. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, no. He, yeah, nothing here on this list shows that he can do action. Yeah. I, Ivan Rittman is next. Uh, what yeah, is, is done? Super X Girlfriend and what else? Uh, he did Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Two. Uh, he was the producer of Heavy Metal. I don't know if you've seen that. That's <gasps> made. Heavy Metal? No way. Yeah. Like the original one? Yeah. Call him back, back. Sorry, yeah, I love those um, songs. I listen to those songs endlessly. Heavy Metal is like one of my favorite movies, and I uh, still yeah. don't have it. I have Heavy Metal 2000 with badass Michael Ironside. But yes, yes, Michael Ironside is the man. He, I, I would aspire to be a, uh, a vocal actor of his character one day. Or his, <laughs> but yeah, uh, he also never. did Kindergarten. He also did kin- Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, this was where I was going to tell my super ex girlfriend story, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I, I actually. I remember the first time I went to go see Super X Girlfriend. It was with my wife, her friends, and their kids. Which, if you guys have seen Super X, my Super X Girlfriend is really funny, but definitely not kid appropriate. No. And my wife had been the whole time, no, I really want to go see that. I'm like, she's going to be bringing her kids. I don't know if it's going to be appropriate. No, no, let's go see it. So we got like 10, 15 minutes into it. Wait, 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 wait. You forgot to say what you said to go see instead. Oh, well, I'm I'm getting into that. Okay. (laughs) And, and of course, leading up to it, I was like, you know what? Let's just go see X-Men 3 again. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I was... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't know, everyone, I don't hate X-Men 3, I really enjoyed it, and actually what had happened too, is I had walked out of the theater before the end of the credits for X-Men 3, and then everyone yeah. at my work was like, did you stay till after the credits? They didn't kill Professor X, so I needed a reason to go back. I on. actually still have not seen that, I was not aware of that. So, so something literally just the other day was like, like you know, X-Men, you know uh, Professor X, I'm like, what? I, I didn't care enough. <laughs> they ruined Madrox, I'm sorry. He's in yeah. two scenes, they made him a bad guy. Yeah. It's not okay. That's not okay. No, I, I just thought it was funny because you were telling me the story before you started. And I'm like, you're probably the only person on Earth that would be like, let's go see X-Men 3 again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did. I really wanted to see it twice. And, <laughs> and oddly enough, though, I found myself wanting to do the same thing with uh, Wolverine Origins. But, I actually have gone and seen that again. I mean, it wasn't a great movie or anything, but I I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I would have watched it again in theaters. I, I'm, I'm excited that it's coming out a few days here in DVD. Yeah. Just so I can buy an extended version, and hopefully they'll have some Deadpool stuff in there. All right, uh, so that that was my story. I, yeah, I'd be cool with Ivan Rittman doing it. Wait, wait, that, that was your whole story? That, yeah. That, oh, that, okay. th- there was something else that we were talking about earlier, and I was like, oh, I should save that for when I tell the story in the thing. But now I can't remember what it was. Okay. All right, awesome. 
How are we doing on time? Oh, uh, shit. We've got okay. about a minute left to cover everyone. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Don't think he wants to direct. Wouldn't be surprised if he turns into a producer, though. Yeah, producer. Um, and never seen, like, written work, but I could see him as a writer. Yeah. Uh, Paul, Paul Verhoeven. I'm going to say no. He did Total Recall. He did RoboCop. He did Starship Troopers. Mike Ironside. Um, I, I, I don't know. Just, again, not stylized action. I, I, I wouldn't be against him, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, well and, and he totally has the tongue-in-cheek humor down with RoboCop and, and Starship Troopers and whatnot. Yeah, 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 exactly. Not my first pick, but not my last pick either. Yeah. Someone and suggested I, Timor Beckham Mamba Batov. Oh, Sorry, I don't know. No Do idea. Know? Not a clue. Stephen, okay. Ch- Stephen Cho? Uh, Stephen Chow. Uh, Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle. Uh, stylistic, martial artsy, and humor. So, oh. yeah. Okay. Shit. We'll just go on to one more. Okay. 